Please hang up and try again. Hey guys, welcome to another John Chow screencast. And today I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, a light box hover sign up form for Weaver. Now this is a uh, sign up form that just fades onto your page as people are loading it up. Uh, it was first talked about in uh, problogger.net and at first I think it made much fun, but then I decided I'll give it a try and see if it actually helped increase my signups. Uh, prior to doing that, my uh, sign up was always done from this little newsletter sign up box right here. And it was getting about oh, 20, 30 signups per day, which is pretty good. But ever since adding this uh, light box sign up, uh, it's increased dramatically. Like I'm getting up to 80 to 100 signups per day now, and it's really done well to help increase the uh, newsletter subscribers. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first step is to log into your Aweber account, and once there, you want to go to List Settings, Web Forms. From the web form, go create new form. This is where you design your sign up form. Pretty straightforward here. You have a whole bunch of choices of different forms you can use exit, pop up, pop over, hover. The one we want to do is the light box hover. And we want to fade it in. That's what I like to do. I like to fade it, fade into current window gradually. Set the size 400 by 400. Now make that 400 by 300. Background color. All right. Wait five seconds. Okay. Basically, it basically this means that the wait five seconds, then it'll fade to forming. All right. This is probably the most important part right here. This controls how often a visitor sees the form. Like if you don't want to piss anybody off, you probably want to leave it default, which is display once per visitor. This means basically they only see it once and after that they'll never see it again unless they delete their cookies. But if you want to annoy them you could you know display every visit or you know set the number of days every 30 days, 20 days, whatever. But we'll just leave it at display once per visitor. Alright. Audio that this kind of stuff is pretty substantial. Here's something you might want to do you want do you want to include your able web counter. If you want to do that, you can definitely choose that, change the color, whatever. But we'll just, yeah, we'll just we'll include it anyway, whatever. Then go next. All right. This way you have to design your form right here. So in the top, in the top here, click on it. It brings up a little editor screen. First one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to bring up a uh, an image of my little sign up box for my sign -up box here. I'm gonna bring my ebook cover. So I'm gonna let me see. Okay. Let's just insert my ebook cover. There you go. Yeah, I think I will have that center. Then below that, I'm gonna type in some message. And good. Okay, save change. So there you go. I like to have yeah, their name, the email, sounds good. The footer, I guess I'll add my, uh, you know, my little disclaimer that says, I respect your privacy and I'm not gonna sell the list or anything like that, but you know, I like to make that probably smaller. I'll make that maybe a two, there you go. <laughs> and I'll probably make the submit button. Sign me up. Sign me up. Oops. And I'll probably move this up higher up. There you go. Okay, that's uh, looking pretty good. Actually, wait a minute. I'll just yeah. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. So just um, hit save, and that's it. Then go get HTML. Just take this code here. Copy that onto the page where you want the light box to appear. In my case, I just put it in my footer, so this way it shows up on every single page. You pretty much have to use the JavaScript. Uh, you really can't use this because then it won't it won't fade in. It will just show up the box show. So you put it, you have to use this code. Right. So copy this code onto your onto your footer or your header or wherever wherever you want, 
And then once a new visitor comes who hasn't visited the site before, this light box will show up. And this is how it looks on the page. 